yeah. I miss the sticks of bricks sometimes, you know? <laughs> no, for sure. And it's, it's that balance, right? Yeah. It's that balance between to, to, to have a, a, a fund or to be able to do a real estate private equity deal, you need to, you need to have the deal and you need to have the equity. Now, yeah. the, it's that balance of, uh, you know, how much time is spent for an operator or depending on how large the team is, how much time is spent to cultivate those relationship potential investors, in your case, also educating the investors mm -hmm. and then finding the deals, underwriting the deals, managing the deals. So it's, uh, we love it. We, we love, love it. it, especially and for I, I, people who get bored of things quick. We <laughs> love the complexity of it, but yeah. also the doability of it as well. So yeah, yeah. And I'll, on I'll your give YouTube you a channel, you have deal you that you keep posting. Dildo, yeah. Dildo, <laughs> Dildo, Dildo. Dildo. I love I'll that. give you a perfect example of, of how cool this business is. Are you guys familiar with uh, the new app that's out there called Clubhouse? Yes. Have you heard? Are you on there? Are you yes. on Clubhouse? Yes. Okay. Right. So here's my, here's my challenge to you. Follow me on Clubhouse and hit the little bell. Okay. And what we'll do is, is we'll do a room together in Clubhouse. All now, right. I was on Clubhouse. Look at you guys going straight to the <laughs> We're going to we'll, do it right we'll now. Do it right now. <laughs> I was on Clubhouse and yep. I was in a, um, in a commercial real estate room on Clubhouse. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm lucky in the sense that the TV. I'm already following you and the bell is already on, Dave. Okay, good. Yeah, All right, good. So right there. There you go. Handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. My followers are 5.5. We got to get those followers up. Nice. Um, I followed. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Uh, but I was in Clubhouse and I was, I'm, I'm lucky I get called up on stages because of the TV stuff, right? Um, so, you know, leveraging out experience to, to get more noise and exposure. Anyway, long story short, this deal that I'm talking about, the 81 units, I'm in Clubhouse. I take a relationship off a of Clubhouse. I start talking with another syndicator. And this young guy's like, Dave, what do you got going on, man? He said, I can't find any deals. He's uh, in the Midwest. He said, I can't find any deals. I said, I got more deals than I got capital. He said, I got capital. I said, I got a, I got a co-GP position if you got capital. He's like, really? I go, yeah. I said, look, man, together, collaboration is the key. It's not competition. 100. So he goes through the PPM. He rips apart our underwriting as I expect him to. And um, it comes up with uh, about 1.5 million of the $3 million raise. Nice. So wow. he's already bought himself a 10% of the GP position. So that's 10% of the acquisition fee, 10% of the, of the cash flow, 10% of the equity. He bought himself a great deal. And he's already aligned with, with some guys that are operating at a high, high level. Incredible. So, you know, what that's total, what was the total equity raise on that? Three million. Three million. Three million. He, he brought in a million and a half million and a half between, I think he's got maybe 15 or 20 investors. Okay. And then, and here's what's cool about it. We work with an investor portal that allows him his own portal as the, as the co-GP. So his investors sit underneath him. So if that investor ever does business with us, there's always a good relationship there. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's not poaching other people's investors. It's that collaboration rather than competition. You know, so he buys himself, he buys himself a seat at the table on the work that he's done prior, right? Because these investors have invested in some of his other syndicated deals. And now he's, he's a co-GP with us on this one. And, and, and I tell you, when I find that kind of relationship, it drives me to make this deal so freaking good, right? <laughs> that he's like, I'm never going to find another deal. I'm just going to raise money and be a co-GP all the time, <laughs> which is, which is okay, which is okay. Right. Um, it's uh, all, all the, uh, you know, all tides rise, all boats or whatever it's called level up. You, you understand what I'm talking about. Of course. So I like, I love the creativity of it.